There are a couple of differentiating factors to consider when choosing between Unreal and Unity and a few of them are their native programming language, graphics and platform integration. I'll be explaining them all down in a bit for anybody out there who wants to get into game development but is stunned or confused as to why, where, when and which game engine they should settle on. This video is sponsored by wingfox.com. If you are interested in learning how to model a character, light, texture, composite and render using Photoshop, Blender and 3D code, then kindly follow the link in my description box for an 88 lesson complete course you can purchase for half the price using this coupon code. I call this course the God course for Blender, 3D code and Photoshop artists. Okay, let's begin with a couple of games made entirely in Unreal and Unity. have in your heart everything anyone has ever felt. Power is given only to those who dare to lower themselves and pick it up.
Unity and Unreal Engine are the two most popular game engines on the market right now. There are many game development studios running on either of the two. There are also a few others that continue to use their own in-house game engines. The interesting thing is Unity and Unreal has developed so well that many development studios had to ditch their in-house game engines and settle on either Unreal or Unity. Now let's talk about some of the contributing factors one should consider before choosing Unreal or Unity. One is game development experience. If you are an absolute beginner, turn between Unreal and Unity, but your main focus is to build 2D games. I would personally suggest you try Unity first. I say this mainly because of the programming language. Unity offers a very intuitive design and uses the c -hash programming language, which makes it very easy to learn. Also, it's widely used across the world, especially amongst indie game developers and has tons of free tutorial on YouTube to get you started. The reason why I don't recommend Unreal to absolute beginners is because of the programming language. Unreal uses C++ which is a bit troublesome if you are now starting out. If you have never touched coding before, then you might want to opt in for an easier route in Unreal, which they call the Unreal Blueprint Visual Scripting. For those of you who have no idea what Unreal's Blueprint Visual Scripting is, Unreal's Blueprint is the main reason the engine is a great tool for prototyping and iteration. In Blueprint, you drag and drop nodes and add wires to connect them and add logic. This node-based interface allows designers who don't have a technical background to explore their ideas without needing to know how to code. Okay, so I would provide a link in my description box to the C++ source code for Unreal Engine 4. The code can be downloaded from GitHub. You can tweak it anyhow to suit your style. Also, you don't have to pay for it. I would update this same video with Unreal Engine 5 C++ source code later. But as a gaming artist, if you really want to go hard and unlock the full power of Unreal, you need to learn C++. Kindly don't forget to subscribe if this info so far has been helpful. My number two is going to be platform. Both Unity and Unreal Engine offers cross-platform integration, but Unity offers more integrations. Keep in mind the kind of platform you choose to go with would be one of the most important factors to look at when deciding which engine to use. I took some time off to gather almost all the platforms available for both Unreal and Unity. Now check them out. This is current data, so you might want to search more about the platform integrations when you are ready to build your own game. But as it stands now, Unity offers more platforms to develop than Unreal. Talking of platforms, if your main goal is to build mobile games, I would suggest you go for Unity. Now, this is why I choose Unity for mobile games, right? It's an easier engine to make 2D games and has an easier time scaling down to very low end hardware. What this means is Unity offers the lightweight render pipeline specifically targeted at low powered devices with old GPUs. But if you are going for high end devices like PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One or high end graphics PC game, then Unity or Unreal would work okay. This leads me to number four, which is graphics. When it comes to highly detailed graphics, Unreal is the standard. Unreal is mostly chosen based on its ability to produce cutting edge graphics. Also, game developers who opt in for Unreal are provided with ready to use tools you can customize to suit your style of work. Unreal also provides game artists with accurate lighting and shadows with smooth fall up and finished aesthetics. I just thought I should add that. If your main focus is on quality visuals in 2D or 3D, then you might have to start learning C++ because Unreal is the standard. The quality in graphics you get with Unreal is mostly the reason why more large studios use Unreal in their game development. Unity 3D is also good for high graphical works, but it will take you longer and you may not achieve the same level of graphics with Unreal, despite the fact that it leverages cutting-edge lighting technology such as PBR or GI, it still lacks the shading details defined by Unreal. Unity 3D supports the usual normal maps, occlusion maps, base textures, etc., but does not have a material editor 
like Unreal. Now, that's a downside. So if you own a gaming company and your main goal is to achieve the highest graphics possible for your games, then do well to hop on Unreal at all costs. Number five is going to be the type of game you want to develop. Now, 2D and 3D fully rendered games are both supported by both Unreal and Unity. As a developer, you might want to look deeply into this. This is where you must consider which format is worth the time and cost. Do you want to go with a 2D or a 3D game format? Very important. If you decide on creating 2D games, then I would advise you don't waste your time on Unreal. This is not to say that Unreal isn't good for 2D games. No, you can, but the truth is Epic Games aren't prioritizing 2D feature sets as much as Unity. Meanwhile, the fundamental stronghold of Unity is its ability to create 2D games in an easier manner, simpler user interface and a well-developed 2D tools. I mostly hear a lot of people say Unity and Unreal are the same, just go with one that suits you best, but personally I think after trying Unity and Unreal for I think a month or two, I have come to notice some marginally difference between the two and this is it. Unity 3D is widely regarded as uh, the most accessible game development platform due to its usage of C-hash programming language. Unity is frequently the primary choice for game creators early in their career because it's easier to learn and utilize. It also has a very friendly user interface and the architecture is straightforward. Continuous updates makes Unity even much easier to use. For example, since July 2020, Unity has added the Boot Visual Scripting tool to all Unity's plan, allowing users to avoid coding as much as possible. You can search more on Google to get more info on what Boot Visual Scripting tool is. Now when it comes to Unreal Engine, it's written in C++ like I explained before, which is more difficult language to master for absolute beginners. However, one of the major good sides of Unreal is that it includes a visual programming system called Blueprints. So in this case, game developers don't have to be experts in coding. Okay, so like I do for all my Versus videos, I'll be dropping a course to Unreal Engine, a complete course to Unreal Engine, but I might not drop it in the description box of this video. I would leave it under the description box of the God Course Bundle. The first video on my page, if you visit my page, I would leave it in the description box below. It's going to be a Google Drive file, so all you have to do is click on it, download, and start practicing. Okay, until my next video, peace out.